the shops performing the music he felt he couldn't with level 42. Mike Lindup comes from a strong musical background. His father is a highly respected composer and arranger, and Mike took up the piano at the age of six. He followed that with a violin and clarinet and studied music at one of London's top schools, Guild Hall, which is where he teamed up with the other members of Level 42. Now that they're on an 18-month sabbatical, Mike Lindup's gone solo. I think there's, a, there's, there's an attitude probably in, in people who hear you're doing a solo album, thinking, well, why does he have to do a solo album? You know, he's already in a successful band. Maybe he's just done it because he's bored and isn't doing anything for a year. Well, I have to tell you that those aren't the reasons that I did it. It's material that I really wanted to do, and it was an opportunity to put myself on the map, perhaps, as an artist in my own right. So how does the music actually differ, then, from Level 42's? Uh, it's hard to put into words, actually. I mean, you know, it's the worst thing to try and sort of describe something. But uh, I suppose there are more elements of jazz and Latin and a few other things besides. Here's an example of the Latin feel on the Brazilian-influenced track, Pachau. Now I'm writing about sort of personal relationships and I'm writing about kind of changes that I suppose are happening in the world that are affecting me as a person but also I think that other people would understand too like you know the sort of ecological changes and so on. Days. I love these golden days. They won't be here forever. Mike has gathered together an impressive collection of musicians on the album including Dominic Miller currently working with Sting, Pino Palladino and Manu Cache, who I, you know, I love the stuff that he's done, you know, particularly with Peter Gabriel. I thought, well, he's bound to be really busy and expensive. And he was really busy and expensive, but he spared three days. And he ended up playing on, doing nine tracks in three days, which is pretty amazing. So what does Mike have in store for Level 42? As far as Level 42 is concerned, I mean, I'm already committed. We've already started pre-producing down on the Isle of Wight the next album, which is going to be out in October. And I'm booked up through the summer to record that, and then we're going to do a nine-month tour following that. So there isn't really much chance to do any sort of live work on my stuff, but, um, you know, I think the two can go hand in hand. I think it would just prove that Level 42 is more than just, it's not a one-man band, it's a kind of a combination of talents. And getting on with his solo business is hot guitar hero Adrian Ballou. He's played with all the greats and at the moment is on tour with that Bowie boy. But Ballou, like Mike... Nation,